Cody Bellinger stays hot for the Cubs. Again, proving why they should extend him as the Cubs improve to 48 and 51. Next, taking on the White Sox for two games in the classic crosstown rivalry. Hey everybody, welcome here to Cubs Baseball Talk. Bear Down Studios here. And man, oh man, the Cubs back on a win streak finally. Three straight wins for the team. And Cody Bellinger remains the hottest player in baseball. Batting at a phenomenal 452 average. Seven home runs, 22 RBIs, 18 runs in. And an OPS of 1270. Just beautiful stats for Cody Bellinger. As the Cubs now in a pickle here, the front office may become sellers, but the fans do not. They want to become buyers, and everywhere you see all over social media is extend Cody Bellinger. And why not? He's 28 years old, recently just turning 28 on July 13th, as why not give him a five-year, $180 million deal? Six years, maybe? I don't care. Give him something good that will make him stay because he is batting at his MVP form like he did in 2019. But if the Cubs decide to become sellers, there are some names they may decide to get rid of, by the trade deadline. Starting with first Mike Tauchman, who signed a one-year deal with the club, who has been really good for the Cubs, especially as of late, getting clutch base hits, hitting the ball hard, and playing some solid defense for the Cubs. Him, Bellinger, Showman are all three guys that I can see being traded off by the deadline. And also a name too that recently surfaced on social media, Kyle Hendricks, who could have possibly played his final game as a Cub at Wrigley Field and could be playing his final game ever tomorrow against the White Sox. If the Cubs can continue to win and can win at least five of the next seven, I can see them becoming buyers by that time. If they're five and seven over the next seven games, not only would they be 500 on the season, but the fans have leverage to say, hey, we're at 500. We have a chance to try and get into the wild card or win the division. Let's be full on in. Let's put our chips to the table and extend Bellinger. And I think if the Cubs can be 5-7, and 6-1, and one, that'd be perfect. 7-0 would be even better, obviously. But only time will tell if the Cubs will become buyers or sellers. But if they keep on winning, it's hard to say the Cubs will be giving it all away. And with the deadline approaching, it is going to be hard for the Cubs to try and make some moves. It's gonna be interesting to see what they give up in order to acquire some talent, either in the bullpen or get some more hitters. As the Cubs offense has been consistent as of late, I will have to give them that. It's just been their bullpen that has been questionable with the organization. Couple games where Julian Merriweather almost gave up the ball game to the Cardinals and let them come back. As Mark Leiter Jr. getting bailed out by the officials twice. Two strikes that were clearly balls by the naked eye, but the official ruled a strike Next thing you know, on the full count, the Cubs get off on a double play, winning that one against the Cardinals. And as we take a look at the next seven games, as the Cubs will be taking on the Sox for two, St. Louis again for four, and then finally the Reds for one more game before August 1st. As a couple guys the Cubs could go after are names like Jonathan India, who surprisingly is available at the trade deadline. Not only him, obviously, Shoya Otani, but that's going to take a worth of to get him. The Cubs could also target CJ Cron at first base, as the Cubs really haven't found a solid first baseman. They tried multiple times with Trey Mancini and Eric Hosmer, but currently Hosmer DFA'd months ago, and Mancini just isn't cutting it on his offense, nor his defense a few games ago when he played St. Louis in London. They brought Matt Mervis up, who was good for a bit and then struggled. They recently brought up Jared Young, but then sent him back down when Swanson was healthy, so first baseman has been the issue for the Cubs. They put Cody Bellinger on there for a few games, but getting a guy like CJ Cron, he has a lot of slug in his bat and can play a good first base if the Cubs do try and acquire him. But if the Cubs continue to win, those are the names that they would likely try and acquire by the trade deadline. Thank you all for tuning in to episode 4 of Cubs Baseball Talk. Bear Down Studios here is signing off from Chicago.